Um, I know you've got one last question, but there's one video that I really want to play to you. And I know play. you hate the guy. I know you hate the guy. Guess guess who I'm talking about? Um, who? Wait, hold MBS. On. MBS, yes, I hate uh, him. And, and I'm not glorifying him, but I'm just yeah. saying this is an interesting development. You know, like ever since yeah, you yeah, gave no, me that I... schooling, ever since you yeah, gave yeah. me that schooling, I remember that. So, you know, like I, I'm always yeah. <laughs> careful. Of, uh, what I'm about to say when it comes to him, um, but but here it. is. By the uh, way, um, before I, I, I you, let me say, um, Harris, you are so good at like ex changing your opinions, and I think I did. No, no, you change my people, opinion. You change my opinion today I'm... too. Yeah, you changed my opinion here today as well. Like when what? you you scolded me today about like me saying like. I felt I, I you genuinely. I think you know, it was just I, a, no. I think you just set it off the floor. Yeah, you, you just. Yeah, no, but you were right. Yeah. But you're I right. You're right. I, I accept that criticism. I didn't change my mind on this. I didn't so even I criticize, it. but anyway, that's fine. But but listen yeah. to this one. So this, okay, but yeah. this is good. Yeah, this is good. Um, uh, so MBS thinks the new Europe will be the Middle East. Anyway, I forget about what he's saying. But listen to this. What he has to say. But I'm like, hmm. Take that, Muslims. I don't know. This mm. I find some joy in that. <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but but knowing what you have said, that this guy is still a monster, though we cannot forget yes. that. We cannot make light of the situation. Um, so have a listen to what he has to say. The Middle East or Islam, not the Middle East. The, the Islam is going down. Oh, look at this. <laughs> إن أوروبا الجديدة هي شرق الأوسط. المملكة العربية السعودية في الخمس سنوات القادمة سوف تكون مختلفة تماما. البحرين سوف تكون مختلفة تماما. الكويت حتى قطر على خلافنا معهم لديهم اقتصاد قوي سوف تكون مختلفة تماما بعد خمس سنوات. الإمارات، عمان، لبنان، الأردن. مصر، العراق والفرص التي لديها إذا نجح القادمة سوف تلتحق فينا دول أكثر وسوف تكون النحظة القادمة في العالم في 30 سنة القادمة No mention of poor Pakistan We, we Pakistanis are good enough to join the club Did, did, he, did he say Iran? No, he would no. not say Iran. He would, no, he would the, not. The, <laughs> this this whole thing is be, he's saying this because of Iran. This whole thing is because of Iran. But, oh, I'll, right. I'll explain it. Yeah, okay. في الشرق الأوسط إن شاء الله هذه حرب السعوديين هذه حربي اللي أخوضها شخصيا ولا أريد أن أفارق الحياة إلا وأرى الشرق الأوسط في مقدمة مصاف في العالم وأعتقد أن هذا الهدف سوف يتحقق مئة في المئة الله يعطيك توفى العمر يا سيدي They have to clap. They have to stand because you know, otherwise they'll disappear. <laughs> but look at the, look at the standing ovation he's getting. Look at it. Everyone standing up, stepping up to him. Everyone stood up. I mean, how does it feel? You know, like he's our age. He's literally our age, and look at him. <laughs> yes. Okay. To, okay. Let me let me let me be honest here. Okay. Okay. This, uh, even though, okay, so this guy is a fucking monster, and nobody here needs to forget that this guy is responsible for the greatest humanitarian crisis in our lifetime. Okay. Um, however, it would be that that should never be forgotten, and I shouldn't say however because it doesn't contradict that. Okay. So forget that I said however. Um, at the same time, it's unfortunate that he might not be successful at what he just mentioned, okay? Because that as he's a force for evil, but if he is actually successful at what he's claiming that he's trying to do, that would be an improvement to the world, okay? Um, and by the way, this whole allyship is happening because of how scared all of these people are from Iran. So they, they have managed to bring the whole Middle East together in unity against Iran, including Israel, even as uh, that's how crazy this whole Iran is as a menace in the Middle East. But beside that, the problem is that, I, I mean, I, I do hope that he manages to do what he thinks he's going to do, but they have had such a bad track record at managing stuff. Like they have, for them to be successful, they need to really change. They throw money at things without doing proper studies, 
without actually analyzing whether it's going to have that effect. They have such pie in the sky dreams. Have you seen the project, The Line? No, no. You have not? Okay. These people are throwing what some people are saying is a tr trillion dollars to a project that if it fails, not only would it not bring Saudi Arabia to modernity as what they're as, as to the next Europe, it will bankrupt the entire goddamn country. Okay. Okay. Let me show you what the, you have to, you are just, going just, to, just, yeah, you are going, your mind is going to explode. Okay. When you see, is, is it, does that include like modernizing Saudi Arabia and creating a new city, new home and all that? Is, it, is that, is that, is that, is that what you're talking about? Okay. The Neon Project, okay. You think that was that was big, okay? Look at this, okay. This is a literal city. Oh yeah. Is, oh yes, I heard about it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That is a line. Yeah, the whole line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, this right. is insane. This is insane. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but it it is very possible. Maybe it works, but if it's very possible that this is going to be a major, major, major gamble that is gonna fail, and if it fails. They are spending so much money. They are gambling so much money with this, and it's even if if it succeeds, they were they were they were lucky because this is this is so much yeah, gambling. With I so much saw it. I yeah. saw it a while ago, and I was like, it, it, to me, it didn't make any sense. It's not like modernizing Singapore City or something, you know, like, uh, making it turning it into a smart city. This is like, so uh, yeah, I saw that, but I. I saw that is like as if a rich guy has got a new toy yeah, or something. That's what exactly. it, that's, these are the vibes it gives you. <laughs> they are okay. So what I what I imagine is happening, and guys in the live chat, you could tell me if you think this is this is what you imagine as well. Okay. What I think is that these are they have so much money, okay, and they're like, oh my god, we're we're gonna one day lose money. our yeah, but we are gonna lose our money one day because gas and oil is not gonna be the future. And if gas and oil is not the future, Saudi Arabia is going to go bankrupt really fast. So we need to figure out what to do. Okay. And they have like, like they draw some, they like have this childish ideas of like, what if we do this? Right. But they're surrounded by people who will make millions and millions of millions if they say yes to this. Right. Because if the people around you, okay, say no to your idea, then they, 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 you're not, they're going to get paid. They're not going to get paid. No, no, it's not going to be this. It's not like they're going to. No, it's not like they're going to get their heads, heads cut off or something. But you have bankers and project managers, okay? That even if this project fails, like I'm going to make it two hundred million dollars. This guy is going to make a hundred million dollars. That guy is going to make fifty million dollars. Why should I say that your project is stupid when we're all going to make? He's going to. He's going. He's the one. What's the logic back behind it, Armin? But but why 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 the line? Why why, why does it have? Why do why do they have to build a city in a linear manner? Why well, it does? I, I mean, why not? Why not that? You've got this huge coastline. Why can't you make a traditional city right. around there? It makes more sense not to do the line because usually when you build a city you build certain infrastructure and then you could expand based when the city itself will generate the revenue for it to expand, to expand like in all directions yes in all right directions, yeah. yeah so because if you build the line you're not going to have the city to function itself so that it makes the revenue to expand the city you have to build the whole goddamn thing right from the beginning right mm. so that's why it doesn't make any sense and it can expand in all directions okay and by the way this is horrible for wildlife because animals can't pass through this thing and the whole What's thing the is break? a goddamn mirror which is underneath it no they, they didn't do okay they, no they're not okay they actually they goes it. right through. okay but really? right the, the plans they're, they're right now the blueprint that they're showing you there's no such thing okay really? and the whole thing yes everyone does it like even even when you make a normal highway I know uh, they, they make they, these little passages for animals. <laughs> I, I know that people discuss that. They have they they are not doing that. They're not doing the responsible thing, okay? That is supposed to be for animals. They're actually destroying animal but habitation. Because... No, but 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 I mean you would imagine that obviously these are not Saudis, they, these would be Western engineers and architects. Why would they not take because care of it? Like, get but paid again, if they say yes, about I, don't money, know. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. By the way, the whole thing is a giant mirror, so everything uh, on both sides of this is going to melt from heat. <laughs> I don't know, like, this whole thing is a giant mirror. Well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to make the engineering claims. Like, I'm, I would imagine that, of course, they would have worked something out. They, they, they would know. Well, the, the engineers the are thoughts. saying this is insane. Oh, like, okay, that's it. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's like a lot of engineers' videos of like, what are you doing? Okay, I don't know, but there's some people who are praising it as well. But there's some, yeah, it's like, okay, here, look, look at this. How stupid okay, would it be? He, what if you live uh, from this side to the other? What's the point of a mirror? Why, 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 why? why? I don't know. Is that a I was video thinking, game? Why not? 
Is that a freaking <laughs> What is it? Like, why? I just don't understand what's the point of it. <laughs> what's I don't know. the freaking point of it? I was wondering, why not make it solar panels? Like, why is it, why is yes. it a mirror? How do you Dude, clean yeah. this mirror? Oh. Yeah, who's going <laughs> to... Imagine, ooh, you know what would be a booming business there? Being a window washer. Imagine that, like a big wipeout. <laughs> Look how large the thing is. The entire thing is a giant city, and it goes in line like that. By the way, look, they started already. They're like they they have started it. This is it. This is they've started it. This so they're so going stupid. with. It. I think it sounds very stupid. Yeah. So, but, so, okay. so what, what if you're on the you you live and work on the the opposite side of the city? By the way. <laughs> Again, I'm hoping this actually works, okay? Because I, unlike, you know, I hate MBS, okay? But I don't hate Saudi Arabia, okay? I want Saudi Arabia to succeed. I want Saudi people to prosper, okay? I want the economy there to, like... So I'm, I'm hoping this works. But honestly, if it does work, they somehow got... It was a major gamble that should have been made with all that money. Because, because it did, we don't have any precedent, Okay, because we don't because we have seen the models at work. If you make a giant project of something that has never been tried, it's very likely that it's going to completely fail, especially with Saudi Arabia, who has done started so many other major projects that are now dead. Yeah, Go yeah, look yeah. at the history of Saudi Arabia. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Failed so, projects, yeah, yeah. So many failed projects that they threw millions but, and billions but it doesn't of dollars. Even, no, but it doesn't even it. seem like out of necessity. It doesn't even see it, it just looks like a rich king yeah. with a lot of money said you know what like he's he's got his court he's got his courtians and they, they and he said you know what i want to do this i want i want to build the tallest skyscraper in the world okay tallest skyscraper in the world okay that's okay you can you can have that kind because it's not yes it's unprecedented it would be unprecedented because obviously it's the tallest but but still it, there's a tradition for it but to come up with a, give me a new idea of building a new city, you know, for a, for a city. And then someone would have said, okay, let's make a circular city. Let's make a square city. No, <laughs> let's make a, a long line of a city. <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay, how much is it going to cost? Maybe roughly around about a trillion dollars. Sure, let's do it. Let's bring some, you know, top architects and engineers from all over the world. And they came and as you said, they, they're interested. They're, they're probably thinking, yeah, what an idiot. But they're thinking, you know what? Let's just go with it. <laughs> it's just, they, uh, wait, wait, I'm going to make $100 million. He's going to, my buddy's going to make $200 million. Go for it. You know, here's their philosophy, okay? Their philosophy uh, of these Saudis, okay, so is to do something that is so unique that the world has to pay attention to, okay? Because if you think about it, Saudi Arabia is not a rational place for it to be a business center. OK, yes. uh, because it has other, especially when the oil and gas like is not the source of and the baggage energy of Islam. anymore. And yeah. the baggage of Islam. That, the that's baggage of Islam. Exactly. Exactly. So it's, it doesn't make sense for, for it to be a business hub. So that's why, like, I don't know, UAE has managed to, like, be a business hub and Saudi Arabia has. It, because right? it's much smaller. Um, it's easier to, 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 you know, convince the West that, hey, look, we've laxed our laws, our traditions are different now we've modified them so it's okay we're not gonna right. arrest your women but even then we we hear these isolated cases where where a couple would be arrested for you know for kissing in public or something so but saudi arabia right. is a lot more scarier place yeah but the idea is that if we if people just come here because of these crazy projects that we have okay eventually when they're all here because they're already all here they're not going to leave because now they're all connected and they already have infrastructure here and they already opened the offices here and they already, you know, have meeting spaces here and it's already a business hub. So once it becomes a business hub, it can't, it can't stop being a, a business hub because their networks and the connections and the offices or has already been made. Right. So they're like, let's just go crazy so that we are so eye-catching and people are like, oh my, they want people to be like, oh, these crazy people are just throwing money. So let's just go and open business offices there and, you know, factories there and infrastructure there because it's just, it's just raining money. And for that, and once they come and then we run, run out of the this whole season of raining money, then they're already staying here and they're not going to leave. So that's their philosophy. But for that to work, these projects have to actually finish. And there's a big question if they're going to finish. We'll we'll see though. We'll see. Right. again. I'm not saying it, it won't. I'm just saying it's irresponsible gambling. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.